Okay, today's topic is actually for clients, but it's great for consultants to hear this because it gives you some context on how clients are evolving their thinking on this. So let me walk through this and see if this doesn't maybe open some eyes. Uh, and I'm gonna ask you some questions that maybe help you think about this a little differently if you're a client. So let me start at the highest level. What we're really talking about is your external workforce is as important as valuable as your internal workforce. So let me, let me kind of just like back up and restate that. Your external workforce is as important as your employee workforce. Whoa, not many companies, not many enterprise companies are thinking this way. Okay, so let me walk you through this. So, the way that companies work right now, these enterprise, all enterprise companies, is you've got this core employees, right? 20,000, 40,000, 70,000 employees, whatever it is. That's who runs your day to day operations. You've got your digital organization, HR, finance, all those sorts of things, the classic functions of an enterprise company. But what's happening is there's a huge contractor workforce supporting that. And what's the macro trend is that this blue, the employees, is actually shrinking. And the red, the contractors, is growing. Why? Because as enterprise companies, we need additional flexibility and agility. And a lot of times it's driven by market conditions. I'll give you an example. Right now, uh, oil prices had been crushed coming through COVID. When that happened, demand for oil tanked, um, stop, uh, uh, crude prices tanked, we were, the oil companies were spending way too much money, burning money, huge layoffs, tens of thousands of workers. Well, those events come and we're not very strategic as enterprise companies in really thinking this way and being intentional about doing this. What happens is those events come, we drop, those, we drop the employees down, and then as the work ramps back up, we add contractors. We add the red because we still need the work to get done, but we don't want to add back the overhead. We had, we had wrong sized the business for the craziness of the market. And that happens across industries. That's not specific to oil and gas, even though that is a bit of an extreme example that happens all the time to companies, even in the most solid businesses, I see them do it all the time. So the first thing is, is, is this a mindset shift for you as a client? Are you a VP in HR? Are you a leader in the digital organization, the technology organization? Are you thinking about it this way? Are you over investing in certain skills and employees that you're not gonna need in five years? That's a mistake. And we see clients do that all the time. And what you're doing is, is you're bringing people in and then you're, you're riffing them. That's poor leadership and management. That's bad business planning. CEOs do not want to riff employees, reduction in force. They want the managers of the business to right size the employee staff base and build an external workforce around it. Now, the most sophisticated managers are doing this, okay? The question is backing all the way up. Are you thinking about it in terms of managing your external workforce as valuably as you do your internal workforce? We spend a ton of time in these enterprise companies talking about our people. And we, we, we talk about how that's the most strategic element of the business. 
Our people are our differentiator. You hear it constantly. And by the way, it's true. The gap is you're only talking about the blue. You're only talking about the employees. And if you also added in the red and you were strategic about that, you would create even more of a people differentiator from the competition. This is a huge opportunity for clients. Huge opportunity for strategic HR managers, strategic procurement managers, strategic digital managers, across the function, finance, everything, operations. You really wanna be a strategic player? Go build a flexible workforce for yourself as a manager so that you can dial up and dial down and change skills as needed. And then telegraph that to your managers, what you're doing. Tele telegraph that to your leadership. You wanna look strategic? That's a great opportunity for you because not many folks are thinking that way. So let me ask you some questions to challenge your thinking a little bit. Again, all of this is just in a positive spirit of an opportunity for you, okay? Are you managing this workforce, this external workforce strategically? Is your external workforce seen as a strategic asset and a strategic differentiator? Are those words coming up in conversations? Probably not. Could you introduce those words and those concepts in the right scenarios and situations without creating risk for yourself? Is that a great strategic question to be asking? Is there an opportunity for us here, guys, to strategically manage our external workforce to create a differentiator? Whoa, that's a big question. That's a meaty strategic question. Are you tied to a few key firms? Are you tied to Deloitte or PwC or Accenture or McKinsey in a way that sometimes you feel like they've kind of got you? And when you get the price tag, you're like, oh, but I don't have any other options. You don't have a strategic external workforce, if that's the case. You don't have enough vendors that are specialized in different ways, creating competition internally for you. Frankly speaking, that's bad management. That's like running an ROI or running a, a, a um, RFP with only one proposal coming in. That, that, that doesn't pass the sniff test. That's, that's bad management. No one firm should have leverage over you. That's a tough question to ask yourself. Now, we've seen clients, we've, we've been with, most of our clients have this challenge, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of, but it's something to ask yourself and then get a plan to eliminate that or reduce that over time, short, mid, and long term. You don't just let them go, but ask yourself the question, if you've got an opportunity, address it. What about the ramp up for your new people? Do contractors ramp up and add value fast in your organization? Do you have a process and a system where you say, we need this skill, you find it fast, you find it at a fair price, and that person lands and is quickly ramped up on your culture, your values, how you operate, what success looks like. So that, uh, you know, what's the, what's the uh, what are the priorities for the company, right? Something some, like the, the, the strategic drivers for the company right now. How do I get f smart fast about what I need to know to land in your organization and start serving you as fast as possible. Do you have that? Is it operationalized? Is it automated? Can I go to the website? You, that's part of my onboarding process. You, you just give me the website. There's a bunch of 
uh, educational materials. I get my laptop delivered to me, my desk, all automated, or is there a bunch of people that it takes that I have to talk to, and now it's two, three, four, six weeks before I have my technology package, I've learned enough to really be adding value to you. You just paid me a bunch of money to learn how to add value to you. That doesn't feel good. Almost certainly, there is an opportunity there, okay? Almost certainly, there's an opportunity here where you can have multiple firms. And almost certainly, you are not managing your external workforce as a strategic asset. A lot of times, this is one of the key opportunities for companies that they just don't even know about or, or, or pay attention to. So hopefully this changed some mindset. Hopefully when we've, when we've had this conversations with clients before this, these circles really resonate with it's, it's the pipe, right? It's the employees on the middle. That's always your core, but this flexible workforce around that is huge. And that's going to be a macro trend for the next couple of decades. It's not going anywhere. So hopefully this resonated with you, the way that we frame this up. As always, let us know your feedback. Yeah, we're here to help. And if you've got more questions about this, don't hesitate to reach out.